There are currently two exotic rapid fire frame auto rifles as of season 19 with the Quicksilver Storm in the Tommy's Matchbook. The Quicksilver Storm is the newest of the two, being a pre-order bonus for buying Whitefall. The thing that was different about this one compared to the other pre-order guns such as Osteostriga is the fact that you can get it before Lightfall drops. Every other gun requires the DLC to already be able to acquire it. The Quicksilver has a sleek design that is very futuristic. It feels nice with relatively low recoil and it is one of my favorite sounding guns. The gun has an intrinsic perk of rocket tracers, generating a homing micro rocket after multiple consecutive hits. This really allows you to chunk your enemies as the homing rocket does 4458 damage to a major, which is around the same as 4 shots to the same enemy. The other perk is Grenade Chaser, loading a grenade for every rocket you hit an enemy with. This can stack up to 3 times and it does a lot of damage on direct impact. The only major drawback of the gun itself is the splash damage, but it's still good for a breach load, just I'm used to how good waveframes are at clear and there's not much blast radius there. On this Lost Sector boss, the Deafening Whisper was doing around 20,000 damage per shot as a special weapon, while the Quicksilver Storm was doing around 60,000. A primary weapon was doing 3 times as much damage as a special. Granted, it does take setup and you only get 3 shots, but these 3 shots are infinitely reloadable by just shooting enemies. This is really good if you want to save ammo and you would normally be using a special weapon on it. The only drawback that does not have to do with the gun itself, but the game, is how you acquire the gun. As I mentioned earlier, you will need to pre-order Lightfall, and I don't know if there will be another way to unlock it in Lightfall, hopefully there is, but as of right now, it is just pre-orders. I also believe that you need the deluxe version, but that I am not as sure about. Tommy's Matchbook was introduced in Season of the Worthy. It has a more elegant design out of the two. It has less stability than Quicksilver at 54, but does not feel awful to control, at times feeling easier than Quicksilver. Tommy's has the intrinsic perk of Ignition Trigger, overheating the user after sustained fire, increasing damage at the cost of damaging the user. This is actually not able to kill the user, just get them down until their health is in the red. The other perk is Heat Sink, reducing the damage you take from Ignition Trigger while not ADSing. The reason why this is important is because it has perfect hip fire. The damage increase is quite significant, with a headshot going from 1764 damage to 3501. This is almost a 100% increase in damage. This makes it overkill for most normal encounters, but the damage that you do take makes it unsatisfactory for higher end gameplay. This makes it where it thrives in military activities such as Wellspring. I use a Seek and Devour build to keep my health up, but the only problem is that it limits how many game modes I can use it in because the more teammates I have, the less likely I am to get final blows, not renewing my Devour. If you're going to use a Devour build, you should probably use it in a fire team of 3 or less, unless you are doing a raid, so there are enough adds. Comparing the two, I think that Quicksilver is the better pick here. In terms of ease of use, the only challenge that Quicksilver has is aiming the grenade launcher. For Tommies, you have to be aware of your health and how to position yourself when you are low so you can get into cover. For lethality, Tommies would win because of how much damage increase it gets, but as I said earlier, it is overkill or underwhelming in most situations. Quicksilver on the other hand, can be used in almost any situation as a perk is just proc from shooting and can be stored for larger enemies while also not having any cost. I would say that Quicksilver seems hard to fit into a build without just throwing it on and not really having a reason for it and it not helping the build at all. But this could change with Lightfall as it is becoming a strand weapon, so we will have to see. For damage output, Quicksilver is much better for burst damage with its grenade launcher than the Tommies. If there are a lot of enemies though, I do feel like the Tommies would win here because it has 100 bullets and can just mow them down quicker than trying to shoot multiple grenade launcher shots. I feel like the problem is that when you use Quicksilver, you have a good constant damage and an amazing burst damage for no cost, but with Tommy's you have an amazing constant damage, but no burst damage, and you have to sacrifice your health. Crucible wise, Tommy's actually wins this, which surprised me. Going into this, I expected Quicksilver to be better in Crucible, as it doesn't damage you. 
And while Quicksilver still feels amazing in Crucible, Tommy's is better. The problem with Quicksilver is that in Crucible, it is just another 720, as the perks don't really work. You can activate the Micro Missile, but normally by the time the missile is shot out, they will have already died. This means that you can't use your grenade launcher either because it requires a missile. Even though Tommy's damages you, at least you can still use your perk consistently. While using Tommy's, I also found that as long as you hit your shots, you will kill your opponent much faster with a charged up Tommy's than they can kill you even when you are damaging yourself. I was still running my Seekins in Crucible so I could pre-fire a corner, go into cover, regening my health in an Amp Rift, and then having more damage from my Amp Rift as well. Overall, I feel like Quicksilver is the better of the two in PvE and is more versatile, but for PvP, Tommy's emerges on top.